Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 6 February 2023, Indian Navy pilots carried out the landing of LCA Navy on newly commissioned aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. Back in 2018, the Indian Navy had expressed its desire to see naval LCA operating from INS Vikrant's deck but later decided to opt for a foreign-made jet in short term while focusing on developing the TEDBF for the future. Now, as per the reports from LeafFistDefense.com, Indian Navy is exploring the idea of ordering a small number of naval LCA fighter jets to operate as a dedicated training and technology development squadron for frontline naval aviators and future combat assets. The idea is in discussion stage and reports suggest that Indian Navy could be looking to conduct 12 to 15 naval LCA. Now there are many benefits of inducting naval LCA into Navy. The aircraft will bridge the gap between test teams and the frontline flyers. It will push the naval LCA into rigorous naval aviation which will further help in improving the platform and learnings that can help in development of TEDBF for Navy. As the Hawk trainers of Indian Navy cannot operate from the deck of aircraft carrier, it will give Naval LCA an opportunity to fully stretch its wings in the real world with the opportunity to train batches of pilots in stobar operations, something they currently do abroad. The Navy's renewed interest brings up the possibilities of acquiring a squadron of Naval LCA. At present, Indian Navy has two aircraft carrier and more than 40 MiG-29K aircrafts. Each aircraft carrier can approximately have 20-25 aircrafts, which means Navy's shore-based squadron could be moved to Vikrant. This provides an excellent opportunity again for Naval Tejas as it can quite easily supplement the fighter jet requirement of shore-based squadron. While the Naval LC Tejas cannot operate with maximum payload from aircraft carrier deck, it can easily carry its max payload when operating from shore. While operating from aircraft carrier as well, Naval Tejas can easily carry two Derby and two R-73 missiles and it fits into the lift as well. At present, there are two prototypes of Naval LCA flying and third one is under development. The NP-1 or KHN T-3001 is the first Naval LCA prototype and a twin-seater aircraft whose development commenced in 2003 and it took its first flight in 27th April 2012. This was a significant milestone in the history of Indian aviation in designing a naval variant of a fighter aircraft. As a part of the carrier compatibility tests, the NP-1 completed its maiden flight at the shore-based test facility in Goa on 20th December 2014. NP-2 or KHN-3002 is the second prototype and a single-seater aircraft and it took its first flight on 7th February 2015. The third prototype of naval LCA is called NP-5. The Naval Project Office at Bengaluru, which was initially set up to coordinate the LCA Navy project, is now monitoring the TEDBF progress. Even though Navy has officially pulled out from Naval Thesis program, it seems to be quite interested in the NP-5 development. HL has started the fabrication of NP-5 twin-seater trainer with significant learning and feedback from NP-1 and NP-2. While NP-1 and NP-2 was an Air Force fighter converted into naval variant, NP-5 is being designed especially for Navy. Therefore, a lot of improvement and better performance can be expected from NP-5. Its development will be crucial for development of landing gears and other technologies required for TEDBF. On 10th July 2022, we have also seen a picture of NP-5 moving out of its assembly line to another section of LCA division of HL facility at Bengaluru. It is being speculated that Indian Navy might take a decision on inducting more naval LCA after NP-5 is ready. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.